Hello students, welcome to Legacy IIS Academy. Today we are going to discuss about the canister launched anti-armor loiter ammunition also called as CAM in the short which the Indian military have requested for to build up in its arsenal. In this particular video we are going to discuss about what do we understand by this CAM system and why Indian military want these systems as in their military arsenal. So first of all the context in which we are discussing this particular issue is because the Indian army has issued a RFI that is in short called as request for information that is uh, given to supplier so they can give the whole uh, specifications as well as the uh, price and all these things about the uh, military supply for anti-armor loiter ammunition for the mechanized forces of Indian army. Now what is anti-armor loiter ammunition? So it is a kind of ammunition which loiters around or which you can say fly around for certain duration of time before attacking the tanks or any other such intended target of the uh, adversaries and that is why it is called as anti-armor loiter ammunition. So it can be used on the enemy tanks as well as any other targets both in the plain and desert areas in western India where India shares border with Pakistan and also this can be used in the mountainous areas of north in the Himalayas where India shares border with the two adversaries that is China and Pakistan in the Ladakh region as well as in near the LOC. Uh, and POK regions. So the RB has in the request for information is specified that in the future it intends to procure 150 such CAM systems. So what is a CAM systems? So the important features of CAM system is first of all it is a canister based system. Canister based system means there are a lot of canisters in which the ammunitions are preloaded and if and when need arises the uh, operator can fire this uh, fire this ammunitions uh, it can be drawn also at a very fast interval the second objective uh, second uh, we can say feature of this calm system is that once they are fired they can remain aloft in the air for a extended period of time over the area of operation and once the target has been sighted a target has been uh, identified the operator can guide down this ammunition or drone to destroy that intended particular target. Apart from this the CAM system also is fitted with noise, uh, nose mounted camera which gives a clear idea or real time information to the operator regarding the battlefield and apart from that there are also several uh, models where we have recovery and reuse of the same munitions or the same system is possible uh, once it has been recovered. So these are the main features, major features of the CAM system. So the RFI that has been issued by RB, so it is nothing but RFI is a kind of formal process for gathering information from potential suppliers of any military good or services. In this case, it is the CAM. And once the CAM is procured, the military is planning to introduce it into the BMP infantry fighting vehicles through which the CAM systems can be uh, used to target the enemy's uh, enemies tanks or any other such intended targets and this also once the calm system is uh, introduced in the military it will be used to manufacture it under the make in india and art nidhar bharat so these are three important points regarding uh, the information that has been mentioned by army regarding the calm system now what are the major uses or main uses of calm so first of all as discussed before the indian military intends to use the calm system in both the plains area as well as desert area in the western part of the country. When the calm system is being used in the plains and desert region of the country, it is expected to function in the wide temperature range between 0 degrees to 45 degrees Celsius. At the same time, when the same system is or will be used in the northern high altitude regions of Himalayas up to the height of almost 5000 meter, there the calm system can work in the temperature range of minus 15 degrees Celsius to 14 degrees Celsius, 40 degrees Celsius. So from this what we can understand that once calm system is inducted into the Indian military, it can give a wide ranging uses, it can actually uh, increase the capability of Indian military in the wide ranging uh, temperature variation that it has to face from the desert region of western India to the uh, uh, glaci glaciated regions or the cold regions of the northern India. Now where and how the CAMS will be used, so as discussed military is planning to introduce it in its mechanized infantry units of the army where three major purposes are sought to be achieved by introduction of the system. The first is the army is planning to use the, the system for the surveillance of beyond line of sight targets. 
beyond line of sight targets are those target which is not clearly visible from any particular place that means the drone that is fired from the car system will go travel around those areas and then give us the clear picture of the battlefield depending on that indian military and operator indian uh, military operator can take the decisions of what to do with the enemy targets apart from that this can be also engaged in beyond visual range enemy armored fighting vehicles to take them out and third it can also be used for ground based weapon platform over extended ranges so these are three major advantages that calm system will offer to indian military and will provide uh, indian military with an edge to take out the adversaries vehicles and tanks now obviously question comes that is the first time that such systems are being discussed or do we have any previous uh, uses of calm that has been done in any war so recent three uses has been uh, of calm has came into notice the first was in the same year 2020 last year 2021 when in the armenia azerbaijan conflict azerbaijan azerbaijan has heavily used the calm system which was largely israeli system against the armenian military targets as well as armenian military vehicles and this provided azerbaijan with an upper hand and that is why azerbaijan was able to uh, uh, gain a strong foothold in a large area of disputed territory of nagorno karabakh so that was the first successful use of calm system in the recent time the second successful use we can see also in the current going on ongoing war between russia and ukraine where russia is using its jala ki reuter ammunition whose picture you can see in the right hand side against the ukrainian infantry vehicles as well as the ukrainian tanks as well at the same time the us is also supplying ukraine with a switchblade reuter munitions that is also a similar uh, this uh, calm based system and it can destroy enemy target up to 10 kilometers from where it is fired so the use of these systems have actually increased in the modern warfare and that is why india is also trying to upgrade its military arsenal from the conventional tank and infantry vehicle based system to a much more drone and uh, munition based systems so what conclusion can we draw that if you look at since the cold war era there has been a significant change in the mode of warfare that is that has been uh, going on Uh, from last at least 10 20 years especially with the advent and advancement of science and technology in the military capabilities so this change in mode of warfare from conventional to modern necessitates change or upgradation of indian military arsenal and the induction of calm system will achieve the same objective so it is in this context we have to understand the indian military has taken this particular decisions so that is all for this particular system i hope you understood about this calm system thank you very much